Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, a uh, question for about heaven. Someone has emailed me and the question they're asking reads, why do some people believe that they have to ask help from angels and other beings and not directly from God themselves? Good question. Let's go there. So, why do some people believe they have to ask help from an angel or a saint even? Okay, you know, we, we look at how many people go to certain places around the world. Let's talk about Lourdes in France where people go there and they've seen like the Virgin Mary or another angelic type woman who can heal them. So why are they praying to that saint or angel? and not directly to the source of God. Let's go there. Okay, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of situations where people's belief systems make them think of who is going to actually help them. Okay, some people don't believe in angels. Other people don't believe in a deity at all. Other people don't believe that there's just one God. They believe that some people believe that God is a one person entity and he he can't come and help me because he's so busy helping everybody else. So one of the psychological issues that I want to address today is that we do get feelings of unworthiness where we don't feel special enough to want their help. Because ultimately, we all recognize that angels, spirit guides, guardian angels, gods, deities, etc. They're all above us. They're all better than us. These entities are more stronger and powerful than us. So when we sit there and we compare ourselves to them, what we're doing is actually making ourselves more inferior. We're making ourselves less valuable, less special, and most of all, less loved. So that is a belief system that we really do have to attack and say that's just not true. We must sit there and say, even though in these entities are bigger, stronger, more powerful, have they got these supernatural paranormal powers? They still love us for who we are. So ultimately, we must fight back when we get these feelings of being less worthy. Oh, I couldn't possibly ask God to help me because he's over there now in another country helping all those hundreds of thousands of tsunami victims or earthquake victims. Or he's got other things to deal with, but why would he want to just help me? So this is where we have to look within ourselves and we say, you know what? I am worthy. I am deserving of their grace. And most of all, I am loved by them. Because ultimately, they exist in their own heavenly place. But what ultimately is one of their biggest jobs that they do? They help us in every way and form that they can and when they don't come through and help us you know we hear stories every day 16 people died in a plane crash but only one survived so why did those angels help that one and not all 15 of the others or 16 because we don't know the life path we don't know the journeys we don't know the life lessons that those others had to learn and most of all we don't know what that one is yet to do why is it that only one survives is that then so we get them on the media to, so then we get improvements to planes so those accidents don't occur again so we can't judge why one person survives and another person dies we can't survive we can't ever judge why someone is healthy as opposed to somebody who's born unhealthy or ill or sickly. We can't ever judge why some people receive messages from angels 
guardian angel spirit guide god Mud buddha muhammad why do these entities only help some and not others but ultimately it's the very fact that if we believe in them whether it's any of those heavenly entities if we believe in them we're giving them that strength of letting them know that they're doing their job why do some people believe they have to ask help from angels and not just directly from God because some people believe angels exist more than a God we look around and how many people hang Christmas decorations in the form of angels with wings we go into a church yes we see a cross with a man nailed but then in the corners we've got statues of women with wings we go elsewhere even into garden shops where they've got ornaments of women with wings so we do see angels around us You know, how many times at Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's Day, do we see a heart and we think straight away of angel wings? So that's why I believe that people ask for help from angels. Because there are reported stories where these entities truly exist. I personally have seen angels. Six people in my house that night also saw an angel. They are real, but that's just my perspective of my reality. And it's not something that I'm throwing down your throat to make you believe also. I'm just stating my facts, but they may not be your facts, correct? So when we look at who to call, who to call in and say, I need your help. It doesn't matter who it is that you are praying to and asking help from. It's the very fact that you are doing it creates that reality of their existence. Because if we stop thinking about them, and if we stop talking about them, how do they know when to truly come here unless we talk to them huh interesting isn't it guys I'd love to know your thoughts so please comment below why you think people will call out to angels and not to a god or a deity like Buddha, Muhammad or Jesus what is it that you think we can all strive to be And then most of all, we've got to look within ourselves. Because there are those out there who say, I don't need a God, I don't need an angel. I can bring on that power within myself to survive and to get through any issue. And that's what we call self-ego, self-awareness. That's what we call self-responsibility, self-responsibility. And taking our own power over our reality to create what it is that we ourselves want and believe me that works also how many times a day do we think and then it's there we create our own realities without the intervention of some other deity god or angel or other entity so this is where i start talking about how we are connected and we are all one Because ultimately, my experience shows me that they know my thoughts before I even say the word. As soon as I'm about to say a question like, can you please tell me you are there? They already say yes as soon as I say k of can. Because they know the nine words that are about to come out of my mouth because that's the intention I thought to say. But as long as we somehow look within ourselves and we identify, acknowledge 
and then put it into being of creation where we recognize that we are on the same level of energy as all these other entities and beings we're on that war of winning correct we're on that right side um we're creating the energy of the heavens here on earth so guys let me know what you think is it totally separate that they are and we are here by ourselves in a prison is this the prison but ultimately at the end of the day i don't look at why i'm here i look at the benefits of why i'm here and at the end of the day i don't look at what is my purpose to be in here i look at the purpose to others of why i'm here because to me i'm a servant i'm doing their work and the more we trust them the more i acknowledge them the more i give them thanks and praise and let them know thank god that you're there because you're doing a great job for me the more things work out well for me the more i'm not stressed anxious or depressed the more i'm calm rational and i'm able to get through situations where everything works out and then when i acknowledge that these beings i don't have to see them i recognize that they're inside of me and then i realize that i am a result of their energy and what beams out of me it's not so much what i create but it's the thought of creating them through me that makes that magic occur put your thoughts below guys love to hear what you have to say about this one talk to you all soon bye To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.